Today's video, we're going to take a look at the new Vintage Collection Finnick Shand from the Book of Boba Fett. So first things, we've got the card. You've got a couple other characters from the wave. And the card art with the Book of Boba Fett logo, which is the first figure with that logo on the card. got a double tray here. It's got her sniper rifle in the back. Short rifle here. Helmet. Spotchka. And then the figure. Alright, the figure itself is a typical figure you get from Hasbro these days, which is, um, you know, pretty good. The articulation is all there. We've got the ball jointed shoulders, elbows, and wrists. We've got the hips that have the swivel thigh, ball jointed in the hip, ball jointed knees, rocker ankles. And we have the head that has the double neck joint pin, like a six scale figure. And uh, the likeness is excellent. Very happy with that. And then for the helmet, it doesn't fit on her head. It's got a ball joint inside. And you just pop off her head and put the helmet on. So something else to note when uh, switching out her head. Notice on the helmet it's got a hole in the back so that you can remove the braid and then still have it coming out of the helmet too. Now the braid is a, a really soft plastic, so getting it in there all the way is a little bit of a challenge, but uh, it definitely makes it look uh, a little bit cooler. Alright, so thanks to all that articulation, you've got uh, great posability with the figure. Um, she holds her weapon rather well. I will say that the plastic used on the weapons is a little rubbery, so that's actually a little helpful as far as getting it uh, posed well. But uh, her thumb uh, goes through the, the back end, or I guess the front end of the stock, and around the trigger. And then for this one, Tight there, but it's pretty nice. So, the other thing with this figure is that it's got multi layers of soft goods that both have screen printing on it, although this, uh, this side is very subtle. Um, but the fabric that is used is not the typical um, what I've seen from Hasbro as far as the soft goods. Um, like, uh, For example, many of the capes that have come on Darth Vader figures or the, the soft goods that are on the Phantom Menace Darth Maul, they are very light and tend to just go whatever way they want and not sit well. This is really soft, but it's got some, I guess you could say, weight to it, that it that it holds its shape on how it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know if it's a heavier material because of the screen printing. It's very similar to the uh, 
poncho that is included with the Bad Batch version of Captain Rex, which also has screen printing on it. Um, I really hope to see more of this type of material being used going forward because I really like the way it looks and the way it sits. So just like the Spotchka bottle that comes with the Navara Cantina playset, um, there's not really a good way for the figures to hold it. Um, I've got her thumb through the little handle right there. It's kind of how it's the only way really she can hold it. If you try to put the top of the bottle into her hand, it just doesn't quite work. I got it a little bit. But doing this um, similar before, it is uh, falling out with uh, using some other figures. So, as usual, the paint apps look really good. Um, but the braiding in her hair, I, I didn't notice that right off the bat. Um, and I, I really like the, the touches that Hasbro put in on the, the paint apps there. And I really have to say that a, a few of the reissues aside, Hasbro is putting out some really, really good product in the vintage collection these days. Um, almost every brand new figure that has come out in the last year, um, starting with the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, I have just, actually even before that, the Series 1 of Mando figures, they've all just been outstanding. And uh, this definitely is... is no exception. It is a fantastic figure. The paint apps are great. The likeness is fantastic. I cannot wait to see what they do for Kenobi. Um, you know, Ewan McGregor has gone on record saying that we're going to see him and Hayden as Obi-Wan and Anakin again. And I can't wait to see what the figures look like from that because, uh, Neither one of them have really gotten great figures in the old traditional style of, of manufacturing. Um, so I, I think we're really going to be in for a treat for some of these soon. All right, so there we have it. Vintage Collection Finnick Shand from the Book of Boba Fett. Although I don't, I don't think the costume differs much from how we saw her in The Mandalorian either, but there you go. Fantastic figure. Should be hitting... Uh, most retail stores very soon. I would definitely not pass on this one. I appreciate you watching. As usual, you know, like and subscribe. Leave me some comments. I do read them all. I try to respond to them all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.